Hey, 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 what the fuck? Hey, ah, fuck. Hey, is this damaged already? Slightly. <laughs> are, we, are we level? Good. Hi, my name is Richie. And uh, people say, man, are you okay? They say to me, this is a true story. Are you okay, Richie? Your face is really red. And I say, this is my normal skin color. And then they like, oh, uh, I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. Well, what don't you understand? I'm a white man with a very red face. That's a legal fact. Like, this is the color red. This is my face. Are you okay, Rich? Yeah. Blood pressure, 120 over 80. 70 to 80. Yeah, perfect. Great. Great. So what's wrong, Rich? What's wrong is I don't I, I think you're you're offensive. Is, do I bother you? Is there something wrong with that? What's you don't like the way I look? How would you how do you want me to look? You want me to look good for you, baby? You want some pizza, something like that? Who the fuck is this guy? Who are you? Who the fuck are you looking at me like that? That's right. Who do you think you are? Sitting home, on a couch, in a fucking dirty box of shorts. There's a reason why an asshole's supposed to be bigger than your mouth, right? How's that, all right? The beginning to Richie the movie. I don't know, it was pretty intense. Sometimes I sit back and I'm like, yo, lighten up. Like, take it easy. Like, that's a, that was some deep shit. But anyways, you're here with me. Me in a Cuban Corona, which I'm actually excited about. And I'm not gonna lie, I damaged the wrapper on the foot. I'm gonna try not to damage it no more. An extremely rustic cigar. An extremely, let's say, cheap cigar for Fuente. Eight bucks for a Cuban Corona Maduro. It is a Connecticut Broadleaf Maduro. And the rest of it is Dominican. Um, is this a top shelf cigar? No. Is this a bottom shelf cigar? No. I would put these cigars around mid-tier, which ironically is the prices. And ironically, even with the increases of tobacco prices, this haven't gone up that much. The problem with the Cuban Coronas, believe it or not, they're extremely popular due to the, the profile. And uh, I'm gonna have to go deep on this. I didn't want to stab it too much. Wow. Huh. It's like the cap on this was like hard. Just the way your mother likes it, Trebek. <laughs> Lots of stems. Don't expect Opus quality on this. Don't expect even Hemingway, Don Carlos. But expect a rustic good time. I don't know, like a campfire or something like that. So we got a long match. So, yeah. I'm gonna use the jacket to toast. Cuban Corona, one thing is true, it's a Corona, not so much Cuban. Good amount of sweetness on the back, chocolate. I don't know how that foot cracked, but it did. Maybe I threw it on the floor. We'll see what happens. Soft, gentle heat, I can't stress it enough. Yeah, don't throw your cigars on the floor. Draw aside slightly snug.
tell you what, off the bat, it's not bad. Off the bat, this my father's more my father. That's what I'm about to say. Off the bat, this Fuente is more my father than Fuente. A little more rusty, a little stronger, darker, heavier, and due to the size. I'll tell you what, the normal experiences that you would normally get with a higher end, let's say, Fuente, um, are amazing, amazing, magical, complex, smooth. Um, this is heavy and dark. Quite pungent. We'll see if it picks up. Off the bat, medium plus, which is a pretty good start off the bat. Now, I've had this before. The first time I had it was in Long Island. Long Island, a magical pizza place full of pizzas and oyster. Oyster Bay, baby. And a lot of attractive women that will take all of your money. Yeah. Well, shit. If you like a Master Blends 3, you're gonna like this cigar. It's quite surprising how zippy this cigar is. It's quite peppy. It's a peppy Fuente. Um, you know, so it's a younger Fuente. The Cuban Corona, it's not Cuban. I never had this in natural. This is the Maduro, okay? Dense for its pack, heavy for its size. Um, very good, a little wonky, but that's okay. That's okay, I'll smoke a cigar, you guys jog. Smoke up, but it's good. Finishes long. We're at three quarter strength. Three quarter strength. We're at three quarter darkness. So let's got that going for it. The profile darkness matches the strength level it is. Uh, uh, it's a pretty, pretty stout little cigar. Three quarter strength with three quarter darkness. So it's on the darker side, but it's not pitch black darkness. The profile itself does have sweetness. Good amount of chocolate, but not like, you know, oh, the most, the most fancy chocolate in the world. Bosco, you who, Nesquik. You know, it, it feels like a slightly dirty cigar, but it's good. Am I, are you gonna age this uh, for five years and have a Fuente Anejo? Connecticut Broad Leaf, Dominican Binder Filler, Fuente Anejo alert, Fuente Anejo. These, Richie said these are Fuente Anejos in the making. I, I mean, in theory. In theory, it's the same. It's the same blend. I didn't say that, but <clears throat> in theory, it is the same blend. But it's a big difference, right? It's a big difference. Well, how, what do you, how could you say that? It's like the version of you in sixth grade and the version of you in, let's say, eleventh grade. Same person, same blend. But as you get older, you know a lot less. And you hate life a lot more. <laughs> Didn't go the way you thought it would. And you like the whole thing about there's a reason why assholes are smaller than their mouths. All right? Don't let your asshole do the talking. Also, don't eat shit. Doesn't make any sense, but figure it out. It's not bad. I think this is a quite enjoyable cigar. And I think it's uh, quite zesty for a Fuente. Yeah, so if you like a younger Connecticut Broadleaf with quite a bit of power, it's not like it's so rough where it's disgusting. It's, it's just, it's like a young scotch. You know, just 
Like when you're having a six-year-old scotch uh, from uh, Johnny Walker Red, which is a six-year-aged so uh, scotch, not six-year-aged socks. Six-year-aged socks, now you'd probably die from bacteria, but six-year-aged scotch from Scotchland, it's Scotland. Scott. I'll take a Scotland on the rocks. Um, so Johnny Red, which is a six-year scotch, six-year aged scotch. Um, is it smooth? Well, that's selective. To most people, no, because they're like, no, Johnny Walker green or blue is way smoother. But, um, you know, if you're used to drinking like dirty water and then you have like, you know, a Johnny Red or you're used to drinking like Cold 45 or like, uh, Natty Ice, and then you had Johnny Red, you're like, this is too rich for my blood. So I guess, you know, what is expensive and what is luxury? If you zoom out, you're like, uh, if you could ask that, you're doing pretty good. Because it's when people have nothing, then, do you get what I'm saying though? Luxury to me is the availability to have a choice. Then you have luxury. Well, what do you mean? Well, I can eat tonight here or we can go out. That's luxury. What's not luxury? I could bite my hand or I could go steal a loaf of bread. That's not luxury. So the fact that you could buy a cigar and like it or hate it, you're a luxurious motherfucker. So you're back with me, Richie. Because I'm a little man, just a small guy. I'm a little guy, I'm just a little guy. Come on, fuck with me. I want you to try to fuck with me. Come on. Come on, get over here. I heard what you fucking said. I heard what you fucking said. You don't like this place, huh? You don't like this place. It's okay. It's all right. All right. How's that? That's part two in the Richie movie. Part one is introduction, then part two, it's like, hey, Richie, this guy smacked around your brother. We gotta get revenge now. Do it while we get them. I'm, cop I'm copying the plot to Godfather. But anyways, yes. the ash is probably gonna fall off. Very flaky. Uh, you know, well-made cigar, but you know, it's, you know, it's a very flaky ash. It's a darker looking ash, very flaky. The strength is medium to full to almost full strength. I think if you open up the size, you go with a larger one. If, well, how could you make Cuban Corona in a different size? It's literally called Cuban Corona. I digress. Quite stout. It doesn't feel like it's edgy, like where it's like it's a piece of shit. It, but it, it, it's it's a little rough because uh, I don't think it's you know the most highly aged kind of broadleaf. Dominican cigar you ever had, but but it's enjoyable. It's an enjoyable, I, I almost don't want to use the word cheap, but it's an enjoyable lower tier Fuente, inexpensive, seven, eight dollars. <laughs> A sleazy kind of chocolate, um, good amount of earth, gobs of black pepper spice, so it's a nice, uh, you know, dark espresso note as well. So it, it's going to feel like, you know, a broadly if you might have tried. But, uh, you know, it is what it is, right? Um, it's a good cigar in this category. Because when people say, what's a good cigar? It's like saying, what's a good com what's a good car? Well, a commuting car? Yeah, it's a good Corolla. Great, great everyday car. So when you say, what's a good car? What do I mean? Yeah, sure. What's a good car? Ferrari. Ferrari for commuting? No. You get what I'm trying to say, so like, you know. So, you gotta, you gotta uh, try to understand what question are you looking to answer? What, what the fuck am I, t sometimes I just zoom out and I'm like, where am I? I just put on a camera and I get lost. I actually find it easier to talk to myself. Which that doesn't, that's not gonna help me. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, well, I, I'm not by myself, you're here. I mean, not right now, but you're here right now watching this. But right now, in my time, in my reality, you're not here. But I know you're going to be here. So I guess I'm just pretending you're here. But I'm not really pretending because I know you're going to be here. That's not 
It's kind of like, well, is a chef crazy for preparing food before people get there? No, he knows you're going to be here. You're like, oh, what's the special today? No special. You know, the chef couldn't believe you fucking, you showed up. Now he's got to start preparing. Well, what do you mean? So what's on the menu tonight? Honestly, I mean, what do you what do you think we should put on the menu? You, imagine you got to a restaurant and the menu was a marker board and it was blank. And you're like, what is this? Well, I don't know. Write down what you think is good food and uh, we'll bring it back. What? Yeah, just write down what you want. And maybe that's an idea to an awesome chain restaurant. But people probably would just get drunk and draw dicks. So to answer your question, Jeremy, my dear friend who texted me before, yes, I like this cigar. Yes, I think it's enjoyable. It is an inexpensive option through Fuente, the Cuban Corona Maduro. In Corona. I think it's dark. I think it's three quarters strength. Um, it's edging on full strength, but it's still in between that. So it's not complete full strength, but it's definitely not entry level medium to full. So you gotta say, no, is that that gray areas, you know? Is that gray areas? So it's a nice style on a cigar. Nothing bad to say about it. Cause you can't even say, well, it's edgy in a bad tense. Cause what did you, <laughs> in a bad tent. In a white tent with black curtains. Da, da, da. I, I'm just making that song. Run away. You know, you don't remember that song? In a while with black curtains and a shady. I don't know what he said. They're all doing drugs. I don't do drugs. I'm going to get rid of that ash. I'm going to get rid of that ash so I can just relax. It's, it's not a high-end fuente. I like it. If you like the Jaime Garcia, you're going to like it. If you like cigar, if you like the Patron 1000, 2000, 3000, 4000, you've got a girlfriend, two months. If you like, <clears throat> you want pizza. If you like the 3,000, 2,000, 1,000 Maduros and Padron, you know, the edgier, cheaper ones, yeah, I think this is in that category. I think the Padron, actually, the 1,000, 2,000 Maduro is a little edgier. But, is it enjoyable? Sure. Maybe for those times where, you know, you just want to have a cigar and you don't want to drop 20 bucks. Well, you can definitely get them cheaper in the box online. I think we're done here. My name is Richie, and um, we're smoking cigars. And I wish you well. I hope you stay fresh. I wish you all the best that life has to offer. The best. The best. The best. Remember, we used to live in a time, you know, where the man was always wrong. Right? Yeah, you know, one's right. Well, now, Anybody can be a woman, so everyone's right. The moment someone says you're wrong, switch teams. But you gotta make a decision. You gotta make a decision. I can't be wrong. Yeah. I guess it's like a slightly dirty one day cigar. That's it's enjoyable. Four point one. Enjoyable cigar. Four point one out of five. Enjoyable. Box worthy. I think it could be for that category. If you're looking for a slightly dirty, inexpensive option for one day, that's I think it's enjoyable. You know what I'm saying though? It's like a, if it's a good cheap beer you enjoy, like a Pabst or a High Life. You're like, you know what, it is what it is. You know, it is what it is. Man, I remember when I was younger, High Life, you get a six pack for $4.99. I'm gonna be 40. I am 40 this year. Um, don't want the hair for you. Eat prunes, drink high quality filtered water. Cut out soda. 
cut out this bullshit, these monster energy drinks, these Red Bull, Blue Bull, Blue Balls, whatever the fuck you drink you want. Don't drink that shit. Stop putting so much sugar in your coffee. Um, yeah. Nutri-sweet and all that fake sugar is, is even worse. So stop. Drink coffee like a man. How do you drink coffee like a man? You make coffee and you pour it in a cup. You got that? You want Fanta or something like that? We're done. I wish you well. See you later. And that's that.